What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's me, Chair Solson. Today we're gonna be doing the top five worst compact cars and burnout legends. Now, for the top five series, I'm doing the best and worst of each series. And the best ones are meh. You know, it's it's a lot more fun and easier for me to talk about cars I don't like. So since this is at the top five worst, I actually think this video might be a little more entertaining. You know, because everyone, when you think of the best cars, you pretty much already assume, okay, Dominator. You could probably assume the Collector 1 because it's the reskin of the Dominator. So that usually is pretty good. So it's like figuring out the best cars of each series is kind of a no-brainer. Not, not always. Not always. You know, there are some surprising ones that make the list. But I think for the worst ones, I think that's pretty good. Because some people don't notice these qualities about these cars. But I do. Because I was, you know, I just recorded the World Tour and stuff. I got all the collector cars. And I've been, I got gold and all the events and stuff. So I was like, I drove all these cars. And there were times where some of these cars, you know, specifically in like the Coupe series. Oh, it's going to be top five worst Coupes is going to be an amazing video. But... It's just like the bad cars stick out more than the good cars. So I just went back and tested them through. And for the number five spot, which is the least worst car, which is kind of an oxymoron, is the Type 2. Now you're probably thinking like, what? well, I was actually going to put the Assassin at number five, but then I realized the Type 2 is probably a little bit worse. So... The main reason, I'm not even going to really test drive this one. The The really bad ones I'm going to uh, test drive and I'm going to show you guys. But this car is actually not even that bad. Like some some of the worst cars in here are not even really that bad. I just have to get, I have to get five. So the main problem with this car is it's slow. And that's basically it. The acceleration is just bad. The boost acceleration is bad. But the handling's pretty good. Drifting's pretty good. You know, for road rage, I don't think it's that good because it's a lighter car. But whatever so that's pretty much the number five spot for the number four spot i'm gonna put the type three here which is the car right below it the type three slightly worse handling and it's even slower acceleration than the type two so i mean again same reasons same whatever uh the type one is actually pretty good so like, if you're going to start out with Burnout and you have your first few events, I really recommend doing the Type 1. Um, because the Collector 2 is the reskin of this, and it's on the top 5 best. So, this is essentially the same car, just a little bit worse. So, the Type 1 is a good car, but the Type 2 and Type 3 are pretty trash. You know, and the Assassin is not even that bad, and the Collector 3 is a lot better. But, whatever. Speaking of Collector cars, that leads me to... Number three, this is probably going to disappoint and probably surprise some people. Or in the wrong way, no. The Collector 5. Now you're probably thinking, oh no, why is the Collector 5 here? Isn't that supposed to be the best car? No, it is not, and it certainly is not. Now, this car isn't even that bad. But the reason why it's at, no it's at the number three spot... Is because in the number two spot, we have the Gangster Legend. Now, I'm not done with number three. I'm actually going to do number three and two at the same time. The Gangster Legend is just... Why? It it handles so poorly. In fact, I'm not even going to talk. I'm going to show you. Now, the Gangster Legend and the Collector 5 have the exact same everything. The reason why the Collector 5 is at number three is because it's it looks cooler. That's it. It just, the paint job's a little more fancy. And it's more rare. The, like, this response time. It sounds really stupid. I mean, it doesn't even sound cool. It sounds dumb. Stupid sounding. And then the response time. I mean, the, the handling is so bad. Like, it takes forever. I have to hold the button down, and then it's like, oh, I have to turn. And then the drifting is like, what even is the drifting? And then the acceleration, look at this. Why is it going so slow? 
Now, the boost acceleration is actually not even that bad, believe it or not. And the drifting is not terrible. It's, you know, you can end the drift pretty good. But the handling is like, what is this? And then the drifting, it's the drifting is slow. You know, like, I just tried to drift there, and it just slid into the wall. Because it has no traction. That's the thing with this car. There's no traction. You know, that's kind of what handling is. It's response time, but also traction. And bad traction is going to also affect your drift. You know, like, if I try to go over here and do a drift... Like, it stops pretty well, but it's just whatever. Now, the Collector 5 is the same exact thing. It does the same thing. It handles the same. It goes the same acceleration. That's the reason why the Collector 5 is on the list. Because compared to the Type 3, the Collector 5, even though, yes, it might be cooler and it might be more rare, and it's definitely a unique car, I'm going by performance, not looks. You know, that's what I'm judging here for the worst ones. So, the Collector 5 and the Gangster Legend are, like I said, they're the same thing. But since this one's more common than whatever, it, I'm putting it more worse. Now, that was pretty much everything. And like I said, the, the number 5, the number 4, they're not even that bad. Like, the Type 2, Type 3, they're not that bad. You know, that's the compact series. I mean, what do you expect? But you definitely see that contrast when you get to the Gangster Legend versus the Type 3. Because it's just like, the Type 3 at least handles okay. You know, the acceleration's okay, but the Gangster Legend is just so slow. You know, it's like, I just go faster. So, and that leads me to the number one. The worst compact car ever is the cop. I mean, this thing is such a piece of crap. It's not even funny how bad this car is. I mean... It just, it's terrible. I don't even know why, the cop cars should be pretty good. Because they kind of force you to use them. You know? So if they all were trash, then that's not fair. I mean, I mean some cop cars are really good, you know? I mean, just to spoil it a little bit, like the super cop, the coupe cop, believe it or not, is pretty good. Uh, you know, the sports cop is meh, but it's fast. But this thing, is just, Why? I mean, I'd rather take the Gangster Legend for a cop than this piece of crap. It's basically the same thing as the Gangster Legend, except the handling is like garbage. The problem is, I mean, the, the response time is pretty good, but it's just, there's no traction. This car just slides everywhere. It's not even funny. And the acceleration is so bad. It's, it looks stupid, sounds stupid, just, you know, icing on the cake over here. So, like, the handling isn't that bad, but, like, see, I'll just, it, I'm doing the same thing as I am for the rest of the cars, and it's just, like, it just stays, it doesn't do that, it just, you know, it does that wavy trash. And then, look at the acceleration. This is a cop car, what is it doing? Look at it, it's going, like, one miles an hour a second, like, go faster. And then the boost... The boost is a lot worse. Like I mean, compared to the uh, Collector 1, the Collector 1, I mean, kills this thing for boost acceleration. Now, this is a cop car. I mean, at the least, the boost acceleration should be pretty good, especially for pursuits. Now, the reason why this car is so annoying is because when you have to do the airport terminal or whatever, you have to do a pursuit, and you have to take down the Legend Compact. Every time I'm boosting... And the guy in front of me is not boosting, but I can't catch up to him because this car is so slow and so trash that the other guy just driving like a normal person. And I'm over here boosting and trying to get up to him as fast as I can. And this thing is just like sluggish. And the drift, like it just keeps going. Like I'm trying to stop the drift and it doesn't stop. The, the gangster legend, at least when you drift, you know, you can stop it. But this one, it's like when I go, it just keeps going. Because, like I said, it's got no traction. It just slides everywhere. And for Road Rage, this thing is even worse for Road Rage. That's just the top it off. I mean, you hit someone and they're like, what is this thing? Because this car is light. Now, which is ironic because a car that's light, you would think would have a better acceleration, especially boost acceleration. I mean, that is just why. And it's worse because the compact cop is always in these background things. See, it's right there. 
So it's like they, they and there it is again. Like they kind of praise this car, and it's all over the back cover of the game, and they talk about it a lot. You know, like they're proud of it. But it's just like why you you say, you act proud of this car, and then it, it's trash. So you can tell I like complaining, and I like you know making fun of bad things and complaining about stuff. So that's why I love doing the top five worst. And this thing's just such a piece of trash. I mean, it looks dumb. It drives dumb. Especially when you're on road rage and, like, the bumper sticks out. It's like, duh. It makes a stupid-looking, like, face. Like, Paragolia looks really stupid. You know, the police factor, this is probably one of the best-looking police cars. Because it actually looks like a cop car. Whereas, like, you get to the muscle series, like, what is that thing? That's just a black car with the lights on top. That looks like... An illegal cop, you know, or this thing, like, what is this? No, this is probably is supposed to be, like, Britain or Europe or something. That's probably what they're going for. And, like, look at the sports cop. I mean, what is that trash? I mean, what is gray and black? What is that? It doesn't look like, what is that? And then this one is obviously Italian. So, as far as the, you know, designs and stuff, this one's probably got the best design because it looks the most like a cop car, but that's all it's got going for it, you know. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, I'll see you guys in the next one.